and welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft. I bet you weren't expecting an episode today. Well, maybe you were. I don't know. <laughs> I am super excited about today's episode because I have a great idea for the episode. You've already seen it in the title and probably the thumbnail. We are going to go bee hunting all around my base. I don't have any... What? I don't think... Isn't there, isn't there a word for a bee home? Like a... a, a, a v, Avi aviary? Is that for birds? That's for birds. Anyway, a beary? Anyway, we are going to create an area for bees. We need to get bees. We haven't found bees. We need to grab them or get some hives, get some nests, and bring them back to the base so that we can get honey and honey comb. That is what today's episode is all going to be about. And uh, it was all suggested by one of you guys. Shroud! Hey Chad, an idea for your next episode. Maybe you should try adding bees to your base. It would liven the place up, seeing more of them once or twice in the background of every video. Other than that, keep up the amazing work. And if you accept my request, I'll bring I'll it'll bring me a bigger smile next time when you upload. There you go, Shroud. Thank you so much for that comment. Also, last episode, I asked for suggestions to name my horse. So this horse right here, I had just had a baby, and that baby is still slowly wandering over here. It really wants to get tested in the uh, in the horse testing chamber that we made last episode. So I combed through the comments, and I kind of mentioned maybe the highest upvoted comment. Well, that ended up being amazing. A hey Chad, I think you should name the horse Sir Johnson or Protection Horse. By the way, love the vids. Well, that is not a name, amazing A. That is two names, and I couldn't decide. So I grabbed a uh, a name tag for both. So we will name this one right here, Sir Johnson, as that was your first name suggestion. And then the horse that <laughs> is escaping will be the protection horse. We can grab a saddle and put this horse back. When I have some free time, I am going to... I'm gonna like really uh, like oh yeah I need to, I, you need to be friendly first I need to tame you be tamed okay I have tamed the protection horse now let's throw a saddle on him and run him uh, stop it stop your <laughs> stop your bucking and we'll put him into uh, into this right here so we are gonna get started on finding bees what do we need in order to find bees well first you need to find the biome that they're in. And that will be a flower forest or a, a plains biome or a sunflower plains biome. All of those will have them. Flower forest is by far the best option because they spawn inside of trees. And a flower forest is a forest where the plains don't really have many trees. So we won't want to find a flower forest. Another thing that we really, really want is silk touch. So we want silk touch on the tool that we're going to pick up the hive or nest. I forget which one is which, but wh whatever the bees spawn in as, we want to pick that up with the bees still inside and we need silk touch to pull that off. So having silk touch on a tool before you leave your base is very important to easily transport the bees from one spot to another. We're getting bees, Gail, getting bees. The other thing that you want before leaving your base is a campfire. The smoke that the campfire creates will help calm the bees. Uh, you could really, only, you only need one, but I'm gonna make a bunch so that, because when you put them down, if you don't have silk touch, you don't get it back. I have silk touch, but I'm just gonna make a few just in case I find a few hives. I've probably made way too many. Another thing is if you find a hive that has honey in it, you might wanna shear it or grab the honey from it. And in order to do that, you need either shears or glass bottles. So we're gonna bring just a few. My main objective is to grab the hives and bring them back to my base with the silk touch uh, weapon or, or tool. So this isn't super required, but if you wanna kinda get a jump start on collecting resources, you can bring that with you as well. I'm bringing the yellow shulker with me because bees are yellow and honey is yellow, and it's just the yellow, it's just, it's just the most appropriate shulker. I don't probably don't even need a shulker, but it's just too darn appropriate. Now, let's go out and find the bees. Oh, before I leave, I'm gonna empty my inventory and also grab a, uh, another 
uh, chest, an inner chest. Goodbye! I was gonna say Cruel World, but it's a great base. So, goodbye base! Over here is where I have the flower forest biome that I know about, and I think that I have seen some bees floating around in there already. It's just, I just have, like, I mean, it's super close. It's right here. This is just kind of a product of me knowing my world really well. So, we should see some bees. Remember, bees are bred with flowers. So, I'm going to grab a few flowers and probably breed up bees once I find a good nest. Now, we just need to keep an eye out for a floating bee. And then, hopefully, we'll be able to follow it back to its nest. And I'll finally be able to remember, once we actually find it, if it's a nest or a hive that spawns naturally. Because I can't remember that off the top of my head. Where are you, bees? I have found one. Here it is. And it already has... Well, it has one bee. You are a dancing bee. Dancing bee only seven... I'm going to get copyright claimed. He's inside. This is exactly what we want. So, if we break this right now... I don't see any bees around, uh, so I, uh, I, I still want to put the campfire underneath it just to make sure that when I place it back down, they don't, they don't get super mad. So there we go. Put the smoke underneath it and then break it with my silk touch, and it is resting on top of that campfire. And now I have it picked up with, I guess at least I know of at least one bee inside of there. It also still has the honey which I could have harvested ahead of me picking it up, but this is by far the easiest way to transport a bee or bees around. I wanna find at least one more nest that I know has at least another bee inside. That way I can breed them up when I get back to my base. Also, it's a bee nest, which is what I remember. That's what I thought it was, but now I know that it is a bee nest that spawns naturally. A hive is what you make. I have found another. And I can get close and listen real close. Ah, there's B inside. So I know that I have fulfilled my my need of collecting at least two bees. So we have that under lock, and I got really lucky because I spied another hive over here. Go inside. Go inside, B. Oh my gosh, this is great. I'm almost positive that I don't, and I'm going to test this one. So this, I'm not going to use the the campfire. And so I picked that one up. I There's a tiny chance, I kind of remember them maybe saying that when you put it back down, they're going to be mad and pop out. But I kind of think that I'm misremembering that. So uh, we'll test that right now. Uh, there's a poor little bee here, which I have taken all the homes, but I don't really need that be because we have at least three which is oh 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 there's another one oh my gosh oh we just went inside holy moly we got so many nests that's crazy that they all spawned right here i want this bee to go inside b come to me and then no i said come b uh, yes 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 now go inside of your home do do that go inside Get in to the home. I want you at my base. Stop looking at this flower. I will destroy the flower. What are you going to do now? You're going to, oh, you're going to leave. I destroy your flower now, you're mad. We don't have much time. This other bee is going to come out. I literally, there's no way to destroy all the flowers to get him to focus. Listen, I, you're going to be a homeless bee. I'm going to make you a homeless bee. Okay, he's a, he's a homeless bee. He's just a homeless bee. There we go. We broke it. Oh, is he going to be mad? Because I didn't use the smoke? No, I don't think so. Okay, you're good. Okay, we are headed back to the base. Because now we have four hives. Holy moly, I did not expect to get that many. And it is becoming nighttime. Wait, do I see another bee? Oh, I see another bee. Oh, I see another one. Oh, this is perfect. All right, is there anyone inside? Listen. Oh, gosh darn it, there was. Get back in there. Oh, man. Okay, well, this is not exactly what I needed. I'm going to take this moment while I'm waiting for them to get back inside to shear it. Make sure that you have your uh, your campfire underneath. Otherwise, all the bees in the area will get angry with you, which we do not want. If they get angry with you and they sting you, they will die. Because like in the real world, their stinger gets removed, which we do not want to have happen. 
So now I'm just kind of chilling, waiting for them to pollinate and come back. Oh, dip, dip, there we go. As long as I get one bee, I am going to be happy. Let me just check on this one. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh, he has pollen. Oh, maybe he's going to go in. I'm going to have perfect timing here. Oh, he's in. Okay, cool. Great. We can grab it. We have at least two bees inside of there. And let's head home. Okay, now I feel like we need to make a bee house. Get out of here. Rude. Okay, so we are back at the base. And I feel like this area is a great area to put the bee situation. I was originally thinking buy the crops because bees are supposed to go out, find flowers, and then if they come back pollinated, it helps out your crops by basically bone mealing them. But I didn't I couldn't really think of anything. And then there's a spot that's just totally open. It has nothing in it. So I think this is the perfect spot for my bee house. What I want to do is basically create something that looks like a hive, then put all the nests that I have inside of it. I'm gonna close it off in the beginning to try to breed up as many bees as I can, and then we'll open it up so that they can leave and pollinate and, and actually do things out in, uh, in the open here, and we'll have bees around the base all the time. So, uh, in order to do that, I'm going to make it out of glass. I have a little bit of glass, but I've been collecting some sand, and I have tons of sand, and I have a shulker box full of sand. Uh, we are going to use our auto smelter here to make up even more sand. I love my auto smelter. If you missed that episode, this one was a good one. I love this thing. So we are going to take our sand. We're going to throw it into the top, and our auto smelter is going to fill in all of our furnaces with sand and then uh, it'll make it into glass for us. All of the glass has finished smelting and I have it inside of my yellow shulker box. I spent some time getting my sheep farm back in order because I was missing sheep. I don't know if y'all remember, lightning struck and I could tell that lightning struck and not a wolf like eating through the corner here because there was <laughs> cooked uh, mutton inside of the chest down here. And you can see that this brown one has about three layers of stacks. And over here, we have a lot more. We have four and we're working on the fifth one right here. So that's how long these were out of commission. They've been out of commission for a while. White, it was uh, all good to go. So we're a little bit low on those colors, but every other color, I mean, low as in an entire like uh, chest full. Um, Every other color we have tons of. So we might use that in the build, not sure quite yet. So this is the area that I want to use. And I'm going to kind of sketch out how big I want this with pathways. So I think something similar to this size. So I think I want it to be about this big for the the bottom for the base and then my glass blocks will go all the way around the side in fact maybe we should replace that with maybe some wool in fact we've been talking about it so let's take out all these blocks so i'm just gonna lay this wool in down here almost like a foundation to the whole build and we're gonna go over this bright bright yellow set the tone <laughs> of this hive now inside of here, I have some yellow dye, so I'm going to put that onto some glass and get some stained glass there. And we also have some orange dye, so we're going to go with an orange stained glass and a yellow stained glass look. And I know that, oh, it's getting night, and I have a, where, wait, I thought I had a crafting table right here. Where did my crafting table go? I know I have one on the other side over here. So let's craft up this glass, I'm going to take a nap, and get building. I mean, kind of conservative on the glass right now, just because I don't know how much I'm going to need. So, I only made a stack and a half. Okay, we, well, we got some nasty neighbors. <laughs> Hello? Could y'all leave me alone, please? They're just chilling. They're just chill. Oh, no, their AI woke up. Okay, I don't, I don't like these guys at all. What is wrong with y'all? Okay, <laughs> they're just chilling there. They're just waiting for me to gear up. That was very polite of them. Here, let me first take an ominous banner. And then I can grab, do I have a shield over here? I have I probably have one somewhere. No, I'll craft up a shield. Uh, if y'all could just wait there, just a moment, just wait if you would. I need to get a shield uh, ready. I, I gotta get some planks. I think my planks are over here. Okay, good, we got some planks. Stay there if you would, just stay. Okay, that's one shield made, and then I'm gonna throw this ominous banner in there. And then, 
It goes from ominous banner to really kind of derpy when you throw that into a shield. Here's here's the ominous. If y'all could just still uh, wait there. I'm trying to show the, the folks just how der derpy your banner looks when you put it into... Oh, it's not that bad. It's not super derpy. It's just a little weird there. Okay. Now that we have an ominous banner shield, let's go f fight these guys. Thank you for waiting. I'm really, I really appreciate it. You guys have no idea how just polite that was of y'all. So I could get a shield just to take care of every single one of y'all. Just <laughs> gotta eat some food here. These, they're, they're kind of getting me down, but they keep hitting themselves. There was a lot of them, to be honest. There was, that was quite a lot of baddies. We go, and we're down to two. I saved that guy for last, just because he's going to give me the uh, bad omen effect, which I want to get rid of. So, got that. Got another ominous banner. And now we need to get rid of the bad omen effect, because I do not want that uh, to accidentally trigger and start a raid. We're just going to leave. Oh, no. Oh, no. All my carpets. Okay, we're just going to... Well, well we've, already, we've already done it, so we'll just leave that. Dang it. I said leave that there. Let's get a milk, get rid of the bad omen, and now we'll put back all our carpets that I destroyed. Okay, carpets are back, and we're all good. We dealt with a wandering raiding party. Horrible. Okay, so let's start with our build. I want to start off with uh, some yellow, and obviously with a hive, it's going to kind of look like a, a honey, you know, I mean, you know what a hive looks like. It's going to have those that layer effect, so I'm going to pull that off by alternating yellow and orange. So there's a the yellow down. Now let's switch back to, or I don't know why I put that in the, in the shulker. I hope this looks good and not just goofy. That's the, fir the first layer's down, I guess? I don't know, I'm worried. I'm worried it looks goofy. Also, I need some scaffolding. Okay, so I have finished off sort of the outer layer. And right now it doesn't really have that like vibe of a hive quite yet. And I think what I need is A, to fill it, which is the next step, but also some honey blocks and some honeycomb blocks and that sort of thing. And then the only way to do that is to do what I'm doing, which is to actually have uh, all the hives and stuff in place. So because I don't have that yet and I can't get honey without doing what I'm doing, uh, it's going to look a little unfinished until we get all of that done. But... Here we go. This is basically it. I do want to add a door to the front of this. And I think birch would probably be the best door for that. So let me go make a birch door. I forgot my birch trees are over here, not over there. Okay, and I'm going to do a technique where I put one door on this side, like that. And then I'm going to put another door over here. So we have two doors. So it, I'll be able to hopefully keep the bees inside so I can kind of have this double door situation so that I don't accidentally let a bee out. For right now, we can keep them both open. And now let's actually grab all of the hives. So these are the ones that I had. And we're going to use this area to breed up extra bees so I can get a good count of how many bees I have. And um, to, to keep them all in one place so they don't go flying around like crazy early on. We'll also get a few, oh, whoops, I put that in the wrong spot, uh, but we will get a few flowers in here so they can also pollinate and we can do that too. So let me move this one into the dead center right now. That is looking great. Now I want to make sure to get my campfires and put them underneath. That way I can harvest all of what they've made so far. So I'm gonna focus on getting honeycomb. And the reason I'm focusing on that is because I can make more hives out of them. Technically, these are hives. I'm gonna be making nests out of the honeycomb. Now that we have the fires with the smoke, we can shear them without the bees getting mad at us. And I can basically make a new hive from each one of those because you you need three in order that I did that four times and now I have four so here are all of our bees they're out in the open I'm gonna go grab some flowers and throw this inside of there to breed them up I'm actually gonna replace this path I'd like the color of it but for right now I want the bees to make more honeycombs so I, I need flowers so we're gonna replace this with grass 
so that we can put flowers on it. So all my bees came out during the morning. I don't have enough flowers quite yet to make a ton of them, uh, but we do have, uh, I'll actually break this double tall flower. There we go. And you and you make babies. We want lots of bees, as many bees as we can. And I'm gonna get a lot more flowers. Double tall flowers are super easy to get. You can bone meal a double tall flower and you get that flower back. So right here, I'm, I'll am i just use uh, sunflowers, I guess. You can just spam this. And so I can get a stack of flowers from a stack of bone meal. All of my bees here notice my flower in my hand and they've all landed. <laughs> Super adorable. Y'all too. Make babies. And, oh, that's it. Okay, grow up faster. I think we have a lot of bees so far. Now let's actually plant some flowers so that they can pollinate and make honey. Oh, uh, look, look at my little bee children. They're growing up so fast. It just seems like just yesterday I just had a hive and now I have a whole colony. Now only three bees per hive will go inside to actually make like a home. So that's why you need to keep creating hives. So using the honeycomb that we have, we can make more beehives for them to live in. So now we have five of those and we will get even more to actually create more honeycomb and more honey and whatnot. And I probably don't need to go any more than, than this. Did I just place one behind me? I did. Um, because I don't I don't really need like a ton of bees. I'm really just doing this to collect some resources. I also need fires underneath all of those and we made five of them so I'm gonna need to make fire five fire five fire fire five fires okay the fires are going in so we won't have angry bees here which is good. I don't think I can breed them up quite yet. No, y'all y'all aren't in the mood. Oh, some of you are, but not all of you. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We're gonna lose some bees here. We're gonna lose quite a lot of bees. They stung me so bad, and a whole bunch of them lost their stingers. Uh-oh. I was trying to punch out my flowers. How many are we gonna lose? Oh my gosh, so many. We're gonna lose, like, all of our bees. Luckily, I have some babies. That one with the red eyes is fine, because he didn't sting me. But all the ones who have blue eyes, they're gonna die here in just a moment. They're just, they're just on their last little legs. Their last little bee legs. I can tell. I'm sorry, bees. I didn't mean to punch out your flowers. There he goes. There's the first one. We're gonna get a lot more here, because I know that those, those two stung me as well. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there they go. The bees are dying at an alarming rate. Oh, no. Already we have quite a lot of... Uh, bee stuff so I can get even more honeycomb which is fantastic and we uh, snatched all that up if you want to keep your bees a little bit safer you can take trap doors and put them in front of your fires because sometimes the bees get stuck on them and they hurt themselves so that's one way to kind of keep the bees away eventually I I guess I'll try to fill in all of this with more hives. I don't really need that many hives, but I guess I'll do that and uh, that'll kind of keep it all consistent, which will look nice, except for these trapdoors right there. They're, they're gonna be problems, but that'll be fine. Make babies, make babies, make all the babies, your baby bees. I need baby bees all over the place. Baby bees be the best type of bee. bee, 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 bee. So I've been breeding up my bees. Oh, close the door. And so far, I have all of the fires in place. I have all the trapdoors. I decided to go blocks here so they wouldn't get under there. And we can place in the last of our hives. So now we have all the hives. We can actually place another one on top of it if we wanted. The smoke is going through enough to place a secondary hive above. But I don't really want to do that. I'm, I feel like... I don't want my whole base to be taken over with bees and I do want to sort of open up the top so that they can leave out of this area. And that means I don't want that many, but you could, I just want to let you guys know that you can if you want. Now I just need to breed them up even more. So each one of these new hives that I have has a few bees inside of it. And then we can release the bees. <laughs> 
So, my bees have been buzzing along quite nicely. I've been kind of just killing time waiting for them to get more things so that we can... Oh, there's a bee outside. Wait, bee, come back in. It's nighttime. Go to bed. <laughs> you, go back to your, your hive. There you go. Good bee. Uh, so, uh, that's... Oh, I just got the advancement. Oh, I'm, my face cam's behind it, but it's be our guest. I, got, I guess you can see it in the chat room. Um, so, there you go. Uh, I also have a few honey bottles, and I've been getting some honeycomb, trying to get some resources for those type of blocks, and it's been working great. Now, it is at night, and at night, all the bees go to sleep, so we should be able to sleep here and have them all come out, which means that I can breed them basically all at once, which is going to be very useful. So here they all are. They all popped out of their hives and we can breed them and get just tons and tons and tons and tons of bees. I need so many bees. So now you can basically see this is all of the bees that I have. There's so many. They're looking great. They are looking so good. I'm so happy with all these bees. I don't I don't really know at what point I'm going to max out my hives, but there is going to be a point, some point uh, in the future where we're just gonna have maxed out hives. One thing that I do wanna do is I have one extra hive and I want to let bees go into a hive and then I will pick it up with the bees inside and set it off in a safe place. The reason I'm doing that is because as you saw earlier, every once in a while when you act, if you accidentally punch a bee, they all get mad. Every single bee gets mad at you. And if they all sting you really quickly, then they all die off. So I want to have basically like security bees that are not out and about. They're not going to pop out of the hive when it is in an item form. So I have this beehive here. And so I want to make sure that I have backup bees in case I accidentally kill. I have a basically colony collapse, okay, based off of them stinging me. So we're going to use a, another hive. Once these guys go in, I'll find one that has some bees inside of it and take that out and then put this one down in its place. So I set a nest over here and I decided to use a nest instead of a hive because I had one extra one sort of sitting in the center. So I grabbed it, I had two bees inside, I just bred them up so we have a third bee. When it becomes night, they'll all enter the hive again and then I'll be able to pick that up and have those will be my, uh, my emergency bees. Now it is night, the bees go into their hives or nests at night, so they should, there we go. Is that the last one? I think so. I never got the achievement for picking up three bees, there we go. Total bee location, relocation, bee location, they love their puns. So there we go, that nest has three bees inside of it. And you know what, I'm gonna put it in my inner chest so that I never ever lose it. And now I have gotten, uh, a few honey blocks. I got three honey blocks, a few honey comb blocks, and I think that might be where we call it for today. So what I want to do is take this area while it's night. All the bees are still in inside, which is nice, and that way we won't like accidentally punch a bee while doing any work. And I'm gonna remove a few of these uh, blocks. Now there was some. Uh, flowers out and about, but we don't have the flowers out anymore, and I'm gonna open up the whole front of this so that they can leave. So we're just gonna have this be open so that we can release the bees in a moment. So that'll be able just for them to walk through. Then I'm gonna take some honey blocks, and we are gonna kinda decorate the top here, boop, with a little bit of honey. Just a little accent of honey. I love it. This is now the bee paradise. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. And in the morning, we will release the bees. I'm very excited about this. Release the bees. <laughs> bees. Bees. <laughs> now the bees will go all over the base looking for flowers and hopefully coming back pollinated. They will fall onto our crops if we ever... You know, I, 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 every once in a while, I'll pull up all these crops to use them for stuff. So now we will have bees all across the base, which is great. Get out of here, creeper. Oh man. And our bees will be amazing. We definitely have bees. They, they, if they get too annoying, 
one night we can kind of close them all back up and not have you know bees all over the place all up in your face uh, but now I'll just periodically come by either use my bottles to get more honey or we can use the shears to get more honeycomb and we have plenty of honey which is which is great so we're, we're gonna very quickly have have enough for us and uh love our bees that about wraps it up for this episode of oh of how to minecraft thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give this video a like also make sure you subscribe for future videos tips tricks tutorials and let's plays here on omg craft and you know what would be amazing is if you directly support me if you want to directly support me there's a few ways to do that you can become a member of the channel which you can click the join button on youtube to find out more information about that or you can buy my merchandise at helloomg.com h-e-l-l-o-o-m-g.com thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another episode of how to minecraft bye